Carlos Enrique Taboada Walker was born July 18, 1929 in Mexico City into an artistic family. His father, Julio Taboada Edreida, came to Mexico with his theater company at the beginning of the 20th century from Spain. His mother, Aurora Walker O'Hara, was born in Ireland and arrived in Mexico with her father, a wealthy widowed farmer. Aurora and Julio had two sons, Julio Tabuada Jr., a stage and movie actor who died at early age, and Carlos Enrique. They lived in Santa Maria La Rivera, an aristocratic suburb that was a cultural and intellectual center. He felt a profound affection for his half-sister, Sara Tabuada Utov, the daughter from the first marriage of his father. Sara died very young from a degenerative disease. The tragedy of her death caused him to study theology, in particular Catholicism, as well as other religions. None of them satisfied him intellectually nor spirituality. As a result, he wrote his book, Introduction to the Heresy. His parents were pioneers in radio, performing innovative soap operas, classical novels, and stories that embraced fantasy and reality. Carlos Enrique had the opportunity to fill his artistic universe, living among great actors of show business in Mexico. From childhood, Tabada had the proclivity for study. At that time, the activities of children were outdoor games and reading. Because of his educated father, Carlos Enrique immersed himself in books. He had a curiosity and need to understand the world around him. Carlos learned English, French, and Italian. He studied and wrote piano compositions. It is fortunate that in amateur recording was saved. It shows great talent and sensitivity. He enrolled in medical school just to please his mother, but in the fifth year, he abandoned his career to pursue his great passions for history, anthropology, and cinema. The detonation of the atomic bomb in Hiroshima in 1945 had a huge impact on him. This shocking act caused him to question the ethics of the golden rule of not attacking civilians. Tabada began to focus on human relations, to attempt to clarify the origin of evil, his point of view about this new world and the behavior of the human race had changed. This chaotic universe was the basis for his literary work. Still studying medicine, he denounced it in his own article published earlier in 1950 under the title Those Who Enter Abandon All Hope. Dante's phrase that he felt should not be inscribed just in hell, but in the hospitals of Mexico. Carlos Enrique became interested in the nation television industry in Mexico, where he worked as an actor, writer, and finally as a director. With the Argentine writer Alfredo Ranova, he developed his first screenplay titled The Mirror of the Witch. The world of spirits, goblins, and fairies became a part of his life, and he made four horror films. His vision as a director caused him to cast two foreign film stars the beautiful and talented Peruvian Ofelia Montesco, and a lovely singer and dancer from Irán, Spain, Irane Ori. To play the leads in major productions such as The Shadow of the Sun and Rubí, among many others. Carlos created the television program Introduction to the University, a series 
of great significance for its content value for future professionals. Throughout Tabata's career, he earned recognition and awards in his country. And in 1973 in Sapporo, Japan, he received as an author recognition for his chapter 13, The Enemy of God, part of his historical series, The Carriage, as the best television program among 76 world participants. Later in Spain, he was awarded the Ondas de Barcelona prize for his historic TV series, Path of Glory. His historical film, Holy War, was very well received by critics and international audiences and sparked the controversial interest no, delivering no, no, for and against no. the cause. Ya veremos. Y tú tampoco sabes dónde se oculta tu jefe. In Mexico, he received the Medal of Honor as director for his 25 years of work. Tabada's talent was also in demand for television screenplays in countries such as Colombia and the United States. As a writer of a large variety of subjects, he always showed his free spirit, sometimes causing him conflict with the censors. But now, he has the well-deserved place in the worldwide entertainment business. A natural teacher, he shared his knowledge with anyone who approached him, especially young people, because for Carlos, the best legacy he could offer was their culture, together with education. Education not manipulated by a personal agenda. Some of his extensive library was donated to the Instituto de Antropología e Historia, and a large part of his art collection was given to the National College of Restoration. Carlos Enrique based much of his writers on women because he admired them as a passionate, capable, and liberated persons. But he also said that crossing excessiveness line is unnecessary. A humanist Tawada transits social disciplines and political presence, not only as an elementary observer, but as an important participant and committed. Sometimes his involvement in the union of writers, defending the allies of the guild, caused limitations in personal achievements. Había estado muy quieto. Ya no aúlla. Seguramente no sintió llegar. ¡Yago! ¡Yago! Se escapó, señor. Aquí estaba. 
Dame. ¡Yago! ¡Yago! de decir el día que Aurora encontró a su canario muerto tuvo un ataque de cólera no pudimos detenerla tomó el atizador de la chimenea y buscó a Becker por toda la casa finalmente lo encontró en la recámara de la tía Susana se le fue encima y lo golpeó muchas veces. Becker maullaba de una manera horrible. De pronto se le echó encima. Aurora gritó aterrada. Pilar y yo fuimos en su ayuda. El miedo se apoderó de nosotras. Yo tomé el atizador que estaba en el suelo y Pilar un candelabro. Becker no murió de hambre. Me matamos a golpes. Carlos Enrique Tabuada, a son of the show business. Ironically, almost was born on a stage where his mother was acting. His destiny for the final fall in the screen of his life was in front of a microphone. It was there that he felt the sharp pain of the heart attack. Many ideas, screenplays and books were left in his desk drawer waiting for one day to reach the light to in the spectators the fear and dude of what is real and what is not he surrendered in front of that terrible image that he used in his films death carlos enrique tabuada walker rests since april 15 1997 in the city of puebla mexico From there, he has resumed his walk around the world. Me despido de ustedes deseando que hayan disfrutado enormemente esta serie y este capítulo de esta noche y agradeciéndoles su atención. Muy buena noche.